I want to introduce you to Paralink. Some of you may have heard of Paralink, other ones that might be brand new. I've presented one other time uh, to this group in this forum here, so um, some of you may have joined uh, at that time. But I want to talk about Paralink, and specifically I want to talk about what we do, who we are, give you a taste. I want to give you, we'll get to do some demos of some of our products so you can kind of see what we look like and what we feel like. So we're going to focus today on this idea of, of what Paralink does, and that is that it is a parent and community relationship management system. I want to talk about how we're using our products and services to help create what we call educational communities, taking into consideration all of the main stakeholders in a child's education and how we can provide products that help to exchange information in the 21st century. So our agenda is going to look something like this. So we're going to do an, I'm going to do an introduction, let you know what ParentLink is. We're going to talk about um, kind of our history a little bit because I think that's going to help you understand where we're coming from. We'll do some demo. Like I said, I want to show you some of our apps and what our product looks like. And then at the end, we'll do a little bit of question and answer depending on how much time we have available. I know we're running a little late today. So, okay. So I want to first start talking about an individual who influenced a lot of what Paralink is uh, and does today. So this picture that you're seeing here at the bottom of your screen, that is John Graff. That, was our, that, is, that is our now uh, president and CEO, founder, owner, whatever you call it. He's, he's the man around here. And, and in, the, in the late 70s, he first started to become fascinated with the changes in technology and, and the way that they were impacting education. And he was, he was saying things, as he, as, he, as he states it, as I was reading through magazines like Popular Science Magazine and some of these things that at school when I was going to Brigham Young University, I was seeing so much change in technology, especially, especially in communication technology, and it was so fascinating to me how it, imp how it could impact education. And I saw where, where things that, uh, that, that, that allowed for better exchange of information could really help out the educational process. And so these first started planting the seeds of what apparently kind of became and, and what it's growing into today. So in 1989, with his friends, they started the company. Parlant Technology was the name, was the name back then. And, but they first founded their, their company in 1989. And then in 1991, they developed the first product, first kind of educational communication product that we called Homework Hotline. It basically was kind of a voicemail box that we would install in each one of the uh, teacher's uh, classrooms and that they could record these record messages that would then be accessed by parents or students at a later time. They could call in and hear things like assignments, announcements, and some of those things. And so this was the first product and the first step in, in, in utilizing communication technology to better facilitate education for our kids and to increase parental involvement. In the 90s, they de we developed a lot of different products and a lot of different capabilities that we provided to school districts. 100% focus on school districts. We've never branched out to any other industry. We've, we focus on school districts and how we can better exchange information in that arena. So in 93, we invented the automated attendance threshold messages. If you're familiar with that, the ability to, to send out calls or notifications when a student reaches a certain number of absences or a certain number of tardies. So we, did, we started developing things like that. 95 created the first web-based communication solution, and then we made grades available to parents online. Back in 95, that was a big deal, being able to give access to grades from a computer. And then in 1999, right before uh, the year 2000, we began sending out a lot of automated emails to parents. And so as, we, as technology began to evolve and as we started to see new innovative ways in which we could share information, communicate to parents, and ultimately build trust and build relationships, these, these products started coming out of Paralink. In 2000, we saw a big shift in our platform. So we started with more of a hardware installation at each individual school or district. And then in the, tw in the 2000s, we really had a shift more to our, the ASP model, everything in the cloud. 2001, in connection with Richmond Public Schools, which is still a great, a great, great customer today, um, we embedded the district centralized notification system, bringing it all into one. 2002, we offered a fully hosted software as a service, ASP, everything the model. We took away all the servers and we hosted everything on our end. And that was a big platform shift for us. We began to build, offer SMS text messaging for schools. Clark County School District, one of the largest school districts in the country, decided to partner with Paralink 
and we integrated their parent portal with so many different data sources and brought it all into one place, consolidating all these disparate systems into one. It's been a great part, it was a great partnership back then, it still is fantastic today. Okay? In, in 2009, we released our attendance management communica uh, communication management service. It's not a management system like you might find with your student information system or something like that. It was something on top of that to enhance the communication abilities for that system to, to really um, to identify those students that were, that were on the track to be habitually truant, to, be, to have problems, to catch problems before they start in relation to attendance. Um, and, and I'll talk a little bit more specifically about what that looks like. And in 2010, we really started first looking at social media and posting things uh, through, through that medium. And that has influenced a lot of what we have, what we've done in the past few years. So I'm going to show you some of our apps which we've created. But in the last few years, we've really been influenced by two major trends that we're seeing when it comes to information exchange, uh, when it comes to where, where parents and students, community members are, and how they like to receive information. So in those two arenas, like you can see on the screen here, mobile and social. Mobile phones, smartphones, it's unbelievable the trend that we're seeing in the uptake uh, of smartphones and the penetration in all ages, in all age groups, not just the young generation, but also those that are older. And it's, and it's, and it's also interesting, the, the internet usage on smartphones. 30% right, use smartphones as their primary internet connection. A lot of this comes from um, the research by Nelson and also from Pew. Social is the other arena in which we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing a lot of things happening there. We're, we're, it's, it's influencing the way that we think about our products and services and the way that we're developing. And, and I'm sure, there's, statistically, there's probably a few of you right now that are checking your Facebook or have just tweeted out something. And, and that's unbelievable. I mean, 13 minutes of every hour in the, on the Internet is social or on social, is spent on social uh, media, uh, which is pretty amazing. And so this, this is really changing the way we're exchanging information and we're looking to engage parents and students in, in, that, can, that can really build relationships, a positive public image uh, for school districts, and ultimately impact learning. Okay? So we developed just this last year something which we call a district app, and I'll, and I'll explain this in more detail, but it's one of the big, newest innovations that we've had uh, over the past year, over the past couple of years actually, in order to, in order to kind of move down this, these trends of mobile and social. So, so that's what we've been up to in the last couple of years, and in the future we think that's going to continue to, to influence us. A richer mobile experience, a reliance on social networks, social media, and then looking at, and these are the newest challenges we're really tackling, the challenges of appropriate student-teacher relationships. How can we provide tools and resources to teachers to help them be able to build trust, to communicate better, build better relationships with students and with parents? So that's a brief history of kind of what ParentLink um, what we've been up to and what's influenced us as far as our products and services. So you, if you go to our website or if you see any of our literature or anything like this, you'll, you'll see this image a lot. And this, we use this as, to kind of, uh, as a way to describe what we're trying to do. This idea of creating educational communities. Looking at the three main spheres of influences that impact the student, that influence him, one, him or her one way or the other, and ultimately uh, influence the outcome of their success. So I want to talk specifically about some of the things that we've been up to. Number one, I want to talk about community cooperation. These two overlapping spheres of the school and the community or the public at large. And I mentioned this, this mobile app that we've created that's called a district community app. And I'd like to, to kind of demonstrate that and let you see what that looks like. So let me pull it up here. And let's see if this is going to work. Okay, Amy, can you see my uh, my iPad okay there? Yes, my screen? I can. Okay, awesome. All right. Okay, so I want to show here um, one of the things, okay, someone is chatting with me. Um, I want to show uh, this, this, this district app, Westdale 
uh, public schools. If you're familiar with the Cosby, this is kind of a demo app that we created uh, as if uh, the Cosby still had kids in school, and this is actually their school district where the kids went to school. And we've integrated a lot of things directly from their website and from these other things. So what is this app? This app is bringing all the information from your district and school websites on one side, also we're looking at bringing all your social media from Facebook, Twitter, any other locations where we have information that's public, uh, available to the to parents on your website or other other uh, medians. We're bringing that into a single app, and so what we're seeing here on this front page is is an integration with news, sports, and calendars. And so across the front page here, it's kind of scrolling different images from the news stories that we're pulling in via RSS feeds from your websites. So if we were to click on news and take a look at that, you kind of get an idea. We're pulling all the different news articles, whether that's from, like I said, YouTube uh, or Facebook, Twitter, uh, if there's any RSS feeds, any of those things, we're pulling them into a single location where they can be accessed. Okay? So then you can come in if you want to look, for example, at, Amy's, uh, at a Facebook post here. You have links to the article and you can go to a web, to a web page here to go view the full article. So bringing in all those news articles in a single location. Now, here's what is unique and powerful about the ParentLink app in comparison to any other, because we're starting to see now a lot of other, a lot of other companies kind of fall in line with these, with these ideas of, hey, mobile is where it's at. This is where parents want to receive information. This is where community members want to have, they have smartphones. They can access this information easily. So one thing that separates us is if you, on the top right here, there's that little gear. We have the ability to allow a user to select individual schools in which they would want to follow. Instead of following everything, let's say I only have, I only have a, a, a student at you know, Clinton High School and I want to receive the RSS feeds from Clinton High School and the Twitter stuff. Okay. Um, for Westdale Public Schools though, I don't really care about any of the Westdale Public School things here. Come back. I only care about the one. And I also have a student at the middle school. I want to look at all those as well. Okay, we'll take a look at that. Reload the page. Okay. Come on, demo app. So we'll reload the page here. And now you'll notice that it's only displaying information from those schools which I selected. So very, very powerful. Now we're only looking at specific articles that are related to that organization that they selected. Satellite West Middle School, right there. Quiet exam in progress. So power, powerful stuff in regards to how, the, how our news is set up. Okay, now sports. Sports is something that's very, very important to many school districts, and we wanted to bring that all in one place also. Integrate any news articles, any websites, any scores and things like that. We work very closely with an organization called maxprep.com. Most of you are probably familiar with them. They, they keep track of scores for, from high schools uh, all over the country. And so we've been able to integrate those, those, the sports information into a single location. Again, you can follow specific schools and specific sports um, that, would, that would make this uh, very customized to your experience and what you'd like to see. Okay, calendars, same type of idea with calendars. How many different school calendars are there out there? It seems like it's so hard to find information because the calendars are in multiple locations or they're not updated in one location but they are in the other. So we've made the ability to be able to use your smartphone to be able to access these calendars and then you can save them to your, to your own calendar on your phone. And, and that's, that again came directly feedback from our customers saying that would be fantastic if we could have it all in one place. So calendar information. All right, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We we've, we've even created some things in here that are that are even more amazing. It's awesome. Okay, so coming to this next page. Oh, hold on. Let me log out here so that so that you can see what it looks like without without logging in as a parent. Okay. So so this next page that we're looking at here you see that um, we have notifications, and this is an inbox, if there was any notifications that was sent out uh, to, this, uh, to this specific mobile app, and if we log in as a parent, you'll see specific notifications sent to that parent, that's here. You'll notice at the bottom, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, we pulled in all the social media sites, okay, so we integrate with the school or school district's 
Facebook page. You can access that, have that right here at your fingertips, one location. Something we've built into this app, which is really, really powerful, I'll talk more in more detail about it, is a, is a, a, a capability called TipLine. Many of you are familiar with TipLine and the ability to submit tips, uh, whether they're related to safety issues or maintenance issues, any of those type of things. You see here you can select specific categories. But we've built the, the ability to submit tips here, to type in you know, whatever the tip might be. You can take a picture with your camera, select a category. You can select a specific school that this tip is coming from. You can make yourself anonymous or not. If not, it puts your, your already your contact information in there. And then we've also added the ability to put your GPS location. So and turn on this uh, location uh, location information as well, which is which is unbelievable. All this right here to be able to submit a tip. Imagine the things that you could you could use this for. Again, in a wide variety of ways, whether it's related to safety or whether it's related to maintenance type issues. Hey, I took a picture of this you know this these, these stairs that are broken or something else. You know this needs to be submitted. Now, on the back end, there's a lot of things that you can set up where these tips are sent to specific individuals. I won't go into that. I just wanted to show you that there is a tip line built into this for parents, for the community. Okay? Now, the most amazing part of this. There's a button there called the Parent Student Access. So what we do is we integrate with your student information system, your grade books, what other, whatever disparate systems you have. We integrate with it all. We, Fundamentally, we've been created, our, our, our organization is run by computer science grants. A bunch of nerds around here. I mean, they get all jazzed about the ones and zeros and, and figuring out how to best integrate the data and massage it and everything else. So we integrate with your student information system. If we go to the parent student access and click there, a parent, if they know their login ID and password, they log in and check this out. Okay, now, so a few things change here. So we've got... Now, Dad, Cliff Huxtable, right? We've got the kids listed down below. First, let's look at notifications again. So all of a sudden, these are specific notifications that have been sent to Cliff. All right, so a daily attendance message here. Let's look at this. This is a daily attendance message about Theo's attendance. Doesn't look like that he was in school. Okay, now there's some action that, that Cliff can make, right? And think about the Cosby's, a great conversation around the table there and what happened. Okay, they, can, they, have, they have other alerts as far as midterms, anything, any type of communication that's been sent from the school to Cliff using, using ParentLink can, can, be, uh, can be accessed here. There's some alerts, there's some specific alerts that can be set up, and I'll show you how that works, but you can see what they look like here. So um, Cliff set up a class grade drop alert. So he wanted to know if a class grade dropped below a certain threshold, and and, and he received uh, a notification here that the overall grade is an F right now for Theo in geometry, that his score is a 57%. So he received those alerts and he customized those alerts. Let me show you where I, where I, where I click to make sure I do that. Up at the top right, there's that little gear again. If I click that, Cliff can now come here and set up his own specific alerts. So here's that class grade drop alert. So I want to receive alert whenever there's an overall grade class drop below a designated threshold. So I can say, well, it's a C minus or whatever that is. Okay, I can turn that on, great, set up those notifications. There's also a class, a class grade update, a new message, low score, assignments, missing assignments, you can see that all right there. And just like any other app that you have on a smartphone, right, and, and by the way, this is for both, this is developed both for uh, the iOS, uh, devices and also for Android devices. For these, you can set up, just like any other uh, app, you can set up these notifications where then you receive kind of that badge, that alert, those push notifications. And we think communication is moving in that direction in a lot of ways. Instead of receiving maybe an email or receiving a phone call, we receive these push notifications right to our smartphones. So the ability to set up these alerts, amazing. It just it blows my mind to think about me being able to do this with with my kid and to be able to just have this information at my fingertips because then I can become engaged and involved. I can ask, start asking real questions instead of saying, "Hey, how was school? Oh, good. Okay, good. 
You know, I can really start saying, well, listen, what's happening in geometry? What can I do to help? And that's the whole idea of what we're trying to do here. We're trying to create and facilitate communication where, where relationships can be, can be established, all the way down from the student to parent to teacher, all the way up to the superintendent himself. Okay, so now that we've looked at some of these notifications, let's come back here. All right, so now, if you wanted to look individually at, say, Vanessa's information, you click on Vanessa, and now we can drill down, again, integrating with all these different systems that the school district has. Any upcoming assignments, missing assignments. If we want to look at classes, we'll look at classes. Oh, let's take a look here at pre-algebra. Looks like we've got a C- minus in pre-algebra. Okay, what's happening? What, what can I do as a parent? Well, let me email the teacher and see what I can, what I can do. Up in the top right, there's that little email button right here from the iPad or your smartphone. You can then send out those emails. Okay? You can look at attendance, if that information is there. Right? You can look at assignments. All of this, again, not being stored in ParentLink servers anywhere. We're integrating and pulling this from the information that your school district already has. Okay, again, attendance, cafeteria balance, these delivery addresses. So we're, so we're pulling all this information in. Uh, in their account, and uh, again, all in one place, right in here at the fingertips. Just so awesome. Okay, the last page, last couple things I want to show you here. I mentioned already the Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. We created something called Superintendent Corner specifically for superintendents and for your administration. So if your superintendent is posting any type of uh, information to a, to a blog or a Facebook or an RSS feed or something like that, we can pull in those updates in a single location. We also provide here kind of a, a, an, a bio of the superintendent, right? Allowing the superintendent to, to kind of humanize himself, to reach out to the community, to build that positive public image on the things that are happening at his school district. Okay, so superintendent's corner. We also have built in a directory where you can look at the specific location for a school and look up staff members. So if we're looking at the public school here, there's the phone number if I wanted to call right here from my smartphone, if I wanted to look up the address in my Google Maps uh, feature, you know, you can do that, get directions. There's the website. Staff, if I want to look up staff, if they're listed here, you can look those up and whatever contact information we're pulling in, you have available as well. Okay, and then the settings page here, this is back where it allows you to follow a specific school, set up your alerts, and then this is where you can log out and kind of reset your your app defaults. So this is um, this is what we've called our district community app. We're really proud of it, and we're getting huge buzz about it. School districts are loving it, and it's and, and the more information that we can integrate with, and the, the more partnerships that we can create, the better and better it just becomes. And there's a lot of ways you can you can customize this app to look exactly like. Uh, it's, it's from your district. So we, we, we create a branded app. It has your name. If they go to the app store, they search for Westdale City Public Schools. They don't have to search for Apparently, We build you an app in partnership together. And, uh, and one of the great things that we've been doing to try to, to try to enhance the relationships and the information exchange with the public community and with parents. Okay. Enough of that. Let's come back. Let's look at a couple other cool things that we're doing. Okay, so back to our Prezi here. Okay, so we did a little demo here of our district app. All right, so to kind of come back here and talk about, um, again, the, these, these spheres of influence and some things we've been doing, we, we, have, a lot of, we have a lot of different um, specific tools that we've created in these areas that are overlapping. We don't have time to cover all of them today. I just wanted to highlight mainly our apps because those are our newest things. So let me, let me do that next, actually, a next app. So we've, we've created a lot of specific school capabilities. And that, fundamentally, that's kind of where we've, you know, we've developed a lot of our you know, automated, automated attendance calls, posting grades online, you know, all those things in our timeline, our history, which we've developed. And we're always looking to, just like it states here, improve the student learning environment. That's ever since 19... 89, when the company was established, we had, we had a, a uh, our mission statement was, was put into place at that time, and it has not changed since. And it talks about student learning, that that's our focus, and that we do that by facilitating communication between all the different stakeholders. 
Our, our tools improve school district operations. It's proven to do that, right? And we're looking to drive classroom improvements. I want to show you another app that we've, that we've developed specifically for, um, for administrators. And it's, a, it's an application that allows them to easily send messages and to check on student information, okay? So if we're to exit out of here, pull this up again. Okay, great. Okay, so we have a ParentLink uh, admin app, which uh, this is the smartphone version of it. I'll show you the iPad version of it as well. There's two different versions. But a simple and easy way to be able to send messages Right, whether that's via phone, email, text, um, you, you're able to select the recipients, really straightforward, marking it as an emergency if you need to, which allows it to go out immediately, it, 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 it overrides any of any settings that have been set in the system, it goes out fast. Okay? Um, the ability to view messages from here, so any saves, any messages that have been sent, an administrator can come in and kind of view just at a glance what those messages were, how well they delivered, um, who were the senders, those type of things here. So you can see a lot of different snow calls, wake up calls. Um, oh, I'm looking out. So I see snow calls here and then I looked outside my window. It was just snowing like a few minutes ago like crazy. If any of you are joining us from Utah here. Uh, but it looks like it's cleared up now. So it's beautiful outside with the, the white snow. Okay, so, uh, and you can see future messages, current messages the ability to kind of see those messages right here. We also have that mobile, a mobile directory, which allows you to then come in. Right now, it's, it's, it's set up here on the favorites. Um, but if, you, if we're pulling all this information in, right, you can drill down and look at a specific student, look at their classes, look at their attendance information. An administrator could do this right from their smartphone, in the hallway. What class are you supposed to be in? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, it looks like you're supposed to be in PE. Why are you not in PE? Oh, I don't know. Um, I taught junior high for a little while, so I, I, I get them a little bit. Um, and, uh, and so you have the attendance information here, like I said, the contact log, um, and, and then this inf the, the contact information that we're pulling, again, from the student information system uh, or wherever that, wherever that data is stored. Hopefully that's being updated uh, frequently. Uh, so it's always a good information. Okay, you have groups. You can search for a specific uh, parent or student or school or things like that right here from your smartphone. Uh, I didn't mention this. It's pretty straightforward. Though. Any saved messages, so if any snow, snow messages that have been sent out, it saves those so you can just easily send them again, uh, again here from, the, from your mobile device. A lot of uses, we've already, we've already had so many great success stories and, and comments coming back as far as, oh my gosh, I wasn't able to get to my computer, but I could do it right from my phone. You know, I was parked in the parking lot and I got that message out. Thank you so much, ParentLink. So that's what we call our, our uh, uh, admin app uh, that uh, is free, available to all of our uh, customers who purchase ParentLink. It's free on the App Store right now. If you, know, if you have a login ID and password, uh, you can get access to this. Uh, to be able to use it immediately and send these messages out. Okay, that's our admin app. And we return. I apologize for having to go back and forth. Okay, so that's some things you've kind of been doing for the school. So ParentLink is a large suite of products and services. We really are a complete, that's why we mentioned a complete parent and community relationship management system. We, we try to be that, that system that can consolidate all other communication pieces that you have all into one. And a unified platform, that is powerful. When you have everything that's unified in the same location, exchanging information, it's so hard many times when you have these disparate systems trying to, trying to utilize them all in separately. Let me highlight just quickly a few other pieces uh, of ParentLink that are really, really powerful. I mentioned some advanced attendance management tools. We call it attendance discovery. The ability to set up things like a, an events tracker, down at the, the third from the bottom there. So events tracker, we take your attendance history, we map it out, we've, we've integrated with some Google API stuff, and so we map out your, your attendance history on a line graph and you're able to start to see trends in your attendance. 
fantastic success story we had with a school district in California where they noticed that every day after Halloween they had horrible attendance. Now, for those of you who know, attendance is really, really important, right? That's where funding, funding is tied to attendance. Learning is tied to attendance. If the kids are not in school, they're not going to be learning. So they noticed that there was this trend. Look at this. Over the past three or four years, every single day after Halloween, we have this huge drop-off. Boom. Nobody shows up, probably because they're out late, probably because they're uh, eating so much candy, and they're just sleeping in. Okay? So they decided, well, let's put together some sort of a communication campaign, an awareness campaign. Hey, mom and dad, sending out some messages. Hey, mom and dad, we have school tomorrow. Have them come. We're going to do some of these fun activities. We've got this going on. They saw a significant increase to their attendance the day after Halloween. And it was a great success story. You can download that success story from our website if you, if you go there. Okay, so, and they were able to do that with an events tracker. A policy planner, the ability to look at what are your state policies and your district policies when it comes to attendance. A lot of times, administrators, we don't even know. We don't even know what those policies are. They're just kind of like, this, oh, you know, someone wrote these while they were up in, you know, in the tower, and I don't know. I don't really know how they apply. I'm just trying to do my job. Well, we try to create transparency. We try to say, listen, this is exactly how these automated messages or these threshold messages or these manual calls that you're making or emails or text messages or whatever, this is how they're aligned with your policies. And then the, the most amazing thing is to set up something which we call watch lists, the ability to identify students at certain thresholds. Say you want to you want to identify all students who have three absences within a semester. You can set that up. They're in a list for you, and then you can then proactively start communicating to the parents of those students before it starts to become a habitual problem. That's attendance discovery. We also created a very very neat um, capability specific for teachers, a teacher messaging tool which we call Teacher Each. It needs to be simple. It needs to be fast and easy because teachers are so overwhelmed with so many different things. But they're mandated in, in No Child Left Behind and so many other and so many other pieces of legislation at the the, part, the federal level at the state level to engage parents in their classroom activities to have better parental involvement. How can we do that? There's a lot of ways we can do that. Apparently, things we think that we can help. Okay, and we've created a simple way for parents to be for teachers to be able to send messages to students in their to parents of students in their classroom. The best, the best feature about this is something we've developed, which we think is revolutionary. It's called Parent Talk Back. At the end of a phone message, when it's sent home, there's an option where parents can then record a message that is then sent back to the teacher. This is an attempt to start to have two-way conversations, two-way communication. Many times, it's just one way. We're just pushing information out, blasting information one way. Whether you like it or not, parents, you're getting this, right? So with Parent Talk Back, it creates the environment where a parent can start communicating back and forth via email, but also via their own voice and express something right at the end of a message. We also have a communication portal. I won't spend a whole lot of time on this, but we have the ability I mentioned where we can post grades, assignments, attendance, cafeteria, uh, pre-registration, all these, all this different information on our on our web portal. Okay, so really a complete system that covers everything related to communicating from, from home to school and exchanging information and that, and that whole triangle of, and the whole different ways. Okay, highlighting just a few other things. I mentioned a tip line. We think we've created a really awesome tip line. Our developers, we, just said, we, we thought, hey, let's create a tip line. They really got into it. And they created a tip line that's really four in one. So the ability to communicate, communicate via your mobile, your phone, your text, your, through the web, um, to be able to disguise the voice and to have it go to multiple locations, completely anonymous, are really a tip line for everyone. It's kind of how we, we always talk about it. Um, very, very powerful. And then we also have created some leadership tools for superintendents for school administrators. Uh, the ability to track, this is what a, apparently a customer who logs into their system, they see their home screen look, looking like this. It tells them some statistics right off as far as how well are you creating your educational community? What's your school participation? How many automated messages? Surveys? You, know, you can see different things up there. Monitoring your parent activity, your community activity. Information at your fingertips that then allows you to make informed decisions to start, to start determining how you can better create relationships with your parents. So in a nutshell, that's kind of what we're all about. That's what ParentLink is some. Uh, that's what ParentLink has, has, has done over the years, and those, these are some of the new things that we're developing right now. We really are trying to, to build great partnerships. Some of, here, here's some of our customers. Let me just briefly talk about this. I don't want to spend too much time 
uh, talking about this, but, but we, we've partnered with some of the largest school districts in the country. And we're really proud of the partnerships that we've developed. You can see Broward, 230,000 students. I mentioned Clark County, 310,000 students. I mean, just massive, massive school districts with, with such complex problems, big budgets, uh, and such, so many different ways where they, can, where they can approach a problem. And we feel like that we've, we've created an enterprise solution for these larger districts. Now, also, it, it fits well with small districts as well. I mean, we, we, we feel like we have something that scales pretty well. Okay? Here, here's just some of the things that some of our school districts are, are saying and what we've done with them. Christina School District in Delaware, we were able to work with them as they were trying to get a bond passed. We worked with them to put together a communication plan to really figure out how we can get people out to vote. It was huge, according to what they, what they kind of stated in the feedback that we received. Clark County School District in Las Vegas, we've done so many different things with them. The most recent one is there was a missing boy with ParentLink uh, and, and the way that we're able to, to send out communication in multiple modes, we were able to find, help them find this missing boy and, and we were credited for, for really being able to get, the, get the word out. We have a lot of school districts in California that we partner with and, and, we, and we love some of the things that they're doing and they have unique needs that we're trying to develop and trying to meet. Texas, the same thing. Texas uh, is an area where we've, we've developed a lot of great partnerships. Uh, we love good old Cody Cunningham, uh, a school district that's been with us for a while. And, uh, and we try hard to continue to meet his, to exceed his expectations because he set that bar so high for us. Um, uh, but we love, we love working with, with our districts in Texas. Of course, we're located here in, in, uh, in Utah, and we try hard. We're trying really hard to be a great, a great partner with our school districts in Utah. Recently, Nebo School District came on board with 30,000 students, and, uh, and that was a, a comment there from Scott Wilson, uh, which, is, which is phenomenal. Florida, we serve over a million students in Florida. We have a lot of school districts that we partner with in Florida. When hurricane season comes around, this last year wasn't bad. Two years ago, we were sending millions and millions of messages uh, to homes in Florida, informing them about school closures and some of these things. Uh, th that gives you an idea of the robustness and the stability that a system needs in order to send out so many different messages to so many students, uh, as, especially in a place called Florida, in like Florida. So that's it. Look at that. Ten minutes left for some Q&A. And, um, and we're, we're, that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create educational communities. We're trying to create a relationship management system. We're taking a, the big picture approach to how information is being exchanged and we're trying to be in the middle of that. I'd love to talk more with you about your school district, specifically what you're doing, how apparently it can help. It might not be a good fit for you, it might, but I'd love to talk. There's my contact information. Call me on my cell, email me. Um, and. Uh, and we, can, uh, and we can see if this is something that would work for you.